going to have a wedding reception here on this property so the push is on to get it presentable and as you can see we have our work cut out for us so far we've framed up this roof removed the old roof and put the new roof structure up and we have framed up our interior walls uh, the perimeter the exterior walls of the interior and we'll take you inside and show you what that looks like so let's go inside Ultimately, this is going to be our wood shop. It's going to be a place where we do our projects and in the winter especially, it's very cold here as you remember from our winter videos and we need a place to come inside and work. But first it's going to be a wedding reception venue. So for all of you ladies that are sitting there thinking, how in the world is this place going to be ready for a wedding reception? Well, please just hang in there, bear with us. You, you've got to use some healthy imagination here because we have a lot of work to do. We're going to try to transform this space into something really, really special. One of the things that I've been struggling with as I've been thinking through this space and how we're going to set up food service and so on is that where do we put our coffee maker where do we put i don't want this to turn into a kitchen i don't want it to turn into a food prep area and while the plan is to have pretty much everything pre-prepped you still need to be able to make another pot of coffee and refill the coffee crafts so we had the idea to move the little garden shed that's over by the big house over here and kind of turn that into a little food prep area so that's the first on our agenda today we're going to try to get that over here and set it beside the building and see what we can make out of it. Right. So. so we'll take you guys over there and see what it's going to take to move this little shed. So let's go take Come a look. Come on! Well, I don't know. This has a fantastic view. <laughs> I could live in here. Yeah, if you want. What do you think, Molly? That'd be cool. <laughs> home sweet home? Yeah. <laughs> I think this will be perfect. So, I, I, 
I think we'll be able just to pick it up and move it, but we're, we gotta move these guys. I don't know if they're gonna be salvageable or not, but. Do you wanna save them? Well, if we can, I mean, I could, if we can, we could put them over there in front of the house and I could put some flowers in if I can still find some flowers in the right. greenhouse. Right. Right here. Mm. Let's get the forks. It's kind of it's a six. It's at least a six by six. Let's get the forks down. I'm gonna dig down under it and lift. Gotcha. And yeah, and see if we can. I want to lift real carefully because I, I don't know exactly how it's supported this direction, and I and I don't want it to sag and you know just kind of start ripping it apart. But let's try to lift it up high enough in the air that we can get a few blocks under the under that timber so I can see completely under the shed. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Let's let's put it let's put it out. Go under under here. Let's set it right there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get comfy there, Stella. She likes the shade. Yeah. <laughs> this has some some real nice support under here. I don't think moving this is going to be a problem. I'm just gonna hit this right in the middle and try to see how far I get my fork from here. I don't know if this'll uh, if this'll lift or not, but let's give it a try here. Look at your little rake. I want to run this all the way around to the mast on the other side. We may need two ratchet straps here. Yeah, it's a 
Stella. Stella, stay here. That's where it stays for now? Yeah. We need to take this riffraff off the side of the building, but yeah. <laughs> and need more cool. than just what that. What is that? Those? They look to me like things. Oh, the whole dead uh, rakes and stuff? It looks like one of these to me. Weird. I don't like them. <laughs> uh, I thought it was like a vent at first. Dead it, on. It is dead on. Well, it's been a busy weekend so far. Yesterday we moved the little garden shed over and the guys spent some time in here insulating. This morning Gail came in and got all the vapor barrier done. And so now we're ready to put on the sheeting. Right. And what we did this this morning all this insulation in the walls is all salvage, 100% salvage insulation from from the roof and uh, actually from the roof of the small cabin that we started up work on this spring. So yeah. that's why it's pieced. That's why it's different colors is it's all salvaged and put in there, but we have two layers of it. So these walls are actually about an R30 right now, pretty close to an R30 on all the exterior walls. Plus we have offset studs which gives us some a good thermal break as well so it's it's good it's yeah. a it's a tight little building so so it's coming together <laughs> little by little right. piece at a time and uh, the next step is getting these interior walls on right right now i am going to tape this vapor barrier tape the vapor barrier mm -hmm. seams and uh, trim co along the bottom plates and then we're ready to start the plywood yeah. so all right, we'll see how much energy we have tonight. Yeah. <laughs>
breaking on the stud. Okay, here, we'll just pull this up just a scoosh. And see this crack on this side over here? If you pull it in, if I lift that up, that crack should. Yeah. It's, Is that? Yeah, that's better. That hill? Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Too high, you know. Coming down. More. Is your head joint tight? Um, this joint is tight, but it looks yeah. like it, it's up a little. I'll bring it down. Just, I'll, I'll bring it down. Fixing my mistake. All right, this is the most complicated piece of the whole side, and uh, I haven't tried to see if it fits yet, but we're going to give it a shot here. What do you think? I yeah. see Stella out there trying to get in. Ooh. It's raining hard here today. It's rainy and it's smoky. It's smoky from forest fires and we have rain. You've seen smoke now? I think it's smoke. I think I could smell smoke out there earlier. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I can see it's hazy over the hill. We very rarely get smoke in this area. But they have a ton of it in town. Yeah, very rarely get smoke here because we don't have any 
forest nearby. So I'm just going to stand up here in case you drop it. So I can just squish. So next week, we within about a week, we're going to put a coat of white paint on this the inside of this, yep. a couple of coats. I think we'll probably paint the floor as well. And it will look like a new place. It will look nice in here. So we have a have vision. You've got to have vision. <laughs> so let's go outside and I want to show you a little bit more of this garden shed and what Tommy has envisioned there. And I know right now you're going to just take a trash bag out. I'm just taking a trash bag out. And we're going to start getting out uh, the mess that's in there. So yeah. let's go outside. Woo. cleaned out of here get it scrubbed down really good I was thinking if we have any extra paint from painting the walls inside maybe I would bring it in here and just go over these little uh, board countertops just to you know freshen everything up and it'll be a little more sanitary everything has to be cleaned up in this property there's nothing that's just like ready to go Is a fact. Anything we can do to spruce it up, I, I'm in favor of. Absolutely. That, gut, that little gutter is kind of cute, but I feel like it needs a rain barrel or something under yeah, it there. there. I don't know. Yeah. 